those were names we had been waiting to hear uh, because one of the things people had complained about was they started low and got low-hanging fruit, but they said they were going to continue. And that's those are some of the names people have been waiting to hear because we know they played major roles in what happened here. Do you think, think it's going to go to the higher? governor's office? Yes. It's going to go higher? Yes. Yeah. They've been going to go to the governor's office? Oh, you, I, well, I think it's going to go higher. I think they're going to do just what they said they're going to do. They're going to continue to investigate, and they're going to bring some more names. That's and why? that's been a problem with the emergency management system. If you look at what's happened in the state of Michigan and, and the urban cities that they've taken over and how it's taken the voice of the people and taken our democracy. And that's what we've talked about when you bring in outsiders to make decisions about what's going on. And that's why we're really so happy to have um, uh, Layton at the table as well. You know, and I really need to just take an opportunity to thank the Attorney General and his team and Layton because it's so important to have that Flint voice at the table and know what's going on and to be able to bring the information back. That's what was missing when we had that emergency manager in place. Was that's what we've been talking about this whole entire time. Uh, and I remember I was talking about it even before I got into office. We have always, that was the problem, was profit was put over the health and the well-being of the people. And this really gives voice to that.